Hello everybody, my name's Calvin and welcome back to Space Engine. I'm gonna be searching for planets with life and I'm gonna rank them on a scale of one to a hundred on how close they are to Earth. So we're gonna try to find Earth 2.0 basically. So I think we're gonna start in the Milky Way. So here's Earth, let's turn on a better lighting so we can see. So let's just like fly to a different part of the Milky Way. We'll go in this little cloud right here. Then what we're gonna do, actually let's go next to one of these clusters cause they're gonna have more planets I think. So we'll go inside this cluster of stars right here. Then we can go to our star browser and actually go into filter. What we're going to do is go to organic life and set it to multicellular. So it's going to have advanced life on it and it's searching for systems that have that. So let's sort it life down. So these are the systems with the most amount of life. This system has three objects with life. So then we can press F2 and go in here. Um, okay, so hot air and terror with life. This is our first option we got. So this planet does have life on it. Um, let's put it in realistic mode. It's got terrestrial life, but no aquatic life. So it looks like there's not any water on it. So that's gonna bring its score down. It is a very pretty planet though. If we come in these valleys. So there's going to be life here, but not any aquatic life. So I wonder how it developed then because life on Earth developed through the ocean, but it does have some pretty insane rock features like these mountains and all these mountains out here. But that's not what, quite what we're looking for. So let's check out these other ones. So this one is a gas giant that actually has aerial life, which we found in one of our other videos. Um, it looks pretty similar to Neptune with its little spot here. So this one supposedly has life in the air, which is kind of cool. Multicellular, which is cool. And this one also has aerial life on it. Whoa. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to put on some more filters. So let's change our object parameters. So it has to be temperate and marine. So it has water on it. And we will leave that one. Okay. So we will do that and then we'll search and see what it comes up with. Looks like it's a lot harder to find systems with this. We got one. One system. Okay, so this should be a pretty Earth-like planet in here. So it's actually a binary system. You can see it's two stars and then each star has its own little system. So if we go in here, um, this planet right here, temperate marine terra with life. Marine and terrestrial life. So this is pretty similar to Earth. That's pretty neat. If we turn off clouds, we can get a better look at what it actually looks like. Turn off atmosphere too. So it doesn't have a ton of water. It almost looks like Pluto but if you added water and an atmosphere. But let's go check it out. These islands are looking pretty cool. So I think um, most of the life would be centered around these oceans because that's where life develops easier. And it looks like it has red plants on it. They're like pink flowers with oceans. I can't wait for them to add waves and tides. Um, for landscape diversity, it looks uh, pretty much the same everywhere around. Maybe we can find a mountain range or something over here. Oh, so if you do zoom in, you do get more water and then you get these mountain ranges look pretty cool. It's like it's like a desert pretty much it's like a desert planet. So for this score, I'm going to give it a 30, 32 because it has water. It's not that similar to Earth. It is tidally locked. The gravity is slightly more on this planet than Earth. So we're gonna give it 32. That's our score. So let's fly to a different part of the galaxy and try to find some more. We'll keep our parameters the same. So let's go to another star cluster. I think this little star cluster. We'll try this one. So we're just gonna fly into this star cluster and then we're going to go to our star browser and it still has the same same filters, but we're gonna search as big of an area as we can. So here we go. We're getting a couple systems in here. And all of these have planets that are very similar to Earth. So we're just going to start at the top here and we're going to go to that. It, another binary system. And here is our planet that is supposed to be similar to Earth that has rings. Whoa. Oh, look, you can see the northern lights on it. Aurora Borealis on top. These rings are very massive. Whoa. We'll go realistic lighting and see. So they're actually the rings are going to be very dark um, and hard to see. And if we take a look at the planet and then turn off our clouds and atmosphere, you can see the plants are actually red on this one too. The atmosphere is just very green, which makes the makes the plants look red. But let's go and land on it. So these do look like some pretty good um, water locations. That looks like a heart for Valentine's Day. These rivers are very cool. I don't see any big oceans. Um, let me turn off these. So it does look like we have a, some good oceans in here and good continent sizes. 
and the landscape diversity is pretty good because you can see down here this looks a lot different than um these other areas like look at this mountain that's a very big mountain like look at that turn back on our atmosphere that mountain is crazy whoa the green atmosphere makes the sunsets look very pink so we got a very large mountain here um with a big crater in it it's like a volcano um these like go up into the upper edges of the atmosphere so I actually want to see what the other side of the planet is going to look like. So I'm going to speed up the time. Oh, is it tidally locked also? It is. So that's going to make its score go down because that means that this side is always in the sun and this back side is always in the dark. So really the only way to see this is to turn up the ambient lighting. So let's turn up uh, right here, ambient lighting, and this will let us see the back side of the planet. So because only one side of it gets light, this side is all like dead there's like no life over here and then this side gets the sun so it's where all the life is that's really cool and let's so like if you went right on this edge you can see that there's like a section this is all dead it's like sand it's like just desert but it would be a cold desert whoa well on our scale i'm only gonna give this one like 12 we'll give it 12 because Earth doesn't have rings. Earth also is not tidally locked, but that is cool to see. Okay, this looks pretty promising. It looks pretty similar to that last one, but I don't think this one's tidally locked. No, it's not. So one day is 33 hours on this planet. And let's take a look at what our planet looks like. This looks very similar to Earth. We even got green plants, a blue atmosphere. And look, when you get the diversity that Earth has too, you get these lighter sections where it's gonna be more grassland or desert. Like, yeah, these are deserts, but Earth has deserts. Like, this looks like it could be Earth. And I'm gonna wait until the nighttime on it. I'm gonna rotate so we can see the entire planet. And it does look pretty nice. Is that ice right here? Let's turn off clouds so we can see. Okay, those are all clouds. So this is what it actually is gonna look like. It looks like there's a lot of these black spots. I wonder what these are. They're almost like meteor impacts that are now dead. They're like, oh, they're giant mountains. That's what they are. They're mountains that reach up into the atmosphere. So you can see it is pretty cold. It's negative 28 Celsius. Um, so that's gonna bring it down. It has five moons. The atmosphere is actually very breathable, but it is 2.6 times Earth's atmosphere. So the pressure is gonna be higher than Earth and the gravity is going to be even less than Earth. So we're gonna give this one a solid 74, I think. And it's even got some moons like this moon here. If you were to be, this looks like a mini version of our moon. If you were to be on this moon, like at night, you this green reflection is actually from the planet. So if you look up, so you're here, that's the planet. It's so bright. Let's make it so we can see both. There's the planet from the surface. That's crazy. Okay, let's try the next one. This is actually a three star system. That's cool. Ooh, this one's got rings too, but it does look pretty promising. This one's also got the redness. These valleys look really cool. Whoa, these like massive cannons, like Grand Canyon with water running under it. Like, could you imagine? Like they're huge. And it looks like we get that diversity too. This looks um, very white. Why is it so white? Purple sand, what? It's like purple sand on here. We're gonna give this one a 68. This one has blue atmosphere or like purplish almost. Landscape looks like it's more land dense than water, which is not ideal. These mountains look nice. Mountain ranges are cool. Turn back our atmosphere and clouds. Very, very sharp mountains. So it must be very um, active underneath the surface. Gravity is slightly less than Earth. Atmosphere is breathable. The atmosphere pressure is really, really high though. And the temperature is very hot at 55 Celsius. So you could live here, but it would be, it would be decent actually. We're gonna give this one 82, best one so far. Okay, this one looks like it has a really, really big moon, but this, I like the way this is looking. Our atmosphere is a little bit more yellow than Earth and our land looks like that brown color again. But let's take a look down here. This is pretty cool. If you were to like live here next to these mountains, the atmosphere is kind of yellow. It does. It is a breathable atmosphere though. Our rotational period is 3.7 days. So it is a little bit slower than Earth's and it does have a very close moon. 
This is closer than Earth's moon is even. But if we take a look at the planet from here, there it is. This one's pretty good too. I'm gonna give it 80. Let's let's leave the Milky Way. Let's try to find one that's a, a completely random galaxy. We'll fly a good distance out here. So these are, dots are actually all galaxies. So let's pick this dot right here and we could just go into it. It's an irregular galaxy, so it's not flat like most galaxies. And we just fly in here and then do our search again. Okay, so it came up with three systems. So let's check these out. These probably won't be binary systems, but they still could be. Yeah, this one's not. This one actually has two objects with life. This one, this moon looks very Earth-like actually. It's a moon of a gas giant. If we turn off the atmosphere here, you can see how Earth-like this really looks. And these continents are kind of crazy, crazy big continents. And they should have like a um, good amount of water inside of these continents too, so they're not completely desert. And you can even see these like, oh, we have these canyons again. These canyons, look how sharp they are. Like, look at this. Like, imagine the tectonic plate movements that would be required for this to happen. Like, going up on top of this, this is very, very sharp. I love the way this one looks. This is probably my favorite one we got so far. Atmosphere pressure is 50 times Earth's atmosphere. So it is going to be very pressurized. And a day only lasts 12 hours, which is actually pretty good. It's better to have them shorter than longer. But I love the way these these canyons are going. The only thing I don't like is this yellow atmosphere. If it was like blue atmosphere, I think this would be my favorite one. So that was actually the night side. So this is the day side. I want to look at the view of the gas giant during the night. The reason it's so lit up at night is because the gas giant's reflection is like the sun. And you can see there's an eclipse happening right there on the surface of the gas giant. All right, well, there's that one. And let's try this one now. Wait a second. Does this one have... It's binary gas giants? Hold on. I'm intrigued. Two gas giants orbiting each other. Can we turn on the orbital lines? Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Anyway, we got this planet here. I am kind of disappointed in this one. Well, that's going to be it for this video. If you want to see more Space Engine content, leave a like. Join my Discord server. The link's in the description. Anyone who joins before I get 50,000 subscribers will get a special role. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.